Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show we've got an interview with climber and mountain runner Anton Kapritschka talking about his life in the big outdoors and the La Sportiva film Purpose. I'm Anton Kropichka and I'm predominantly a mountain runner uh, from the States, Boulder, Colorado. Um, but yeah, I do plenty of climbing and skiing and biking too. Mostly, I grew up in Nebraska in the States, which is very flat and it's on the plains. But every summer my family would take a trip to the mountains for a couple of weeks for hiking and camping basically. And so I got exposed to that at a really young age, uh, four, five years old. When I was 11, when I started running as like a daily practice and uh, I ran my first full length marathon, you know, 42 Ks when I was 12. Um, yeah, like 18 months later, it was sort of silly. And certain things either, you know, gel or they don't. And for some reason, running a really long ways always has. Uh, I've never been good at the shorter stuff and I've always gravitated towards the more longer kind of grueling objectives. Uh, so ultra marathons were a natural fit for sort of the high mileage regimen I was always pursuing. This is the inside cover of the, the very first log and I guess I wrote in here this little like chart of why I love running um, from 1995. If very early on I was like making like training plans, kind of crazy. And then the first entry is uh, April 12th, 1995. Warm, sunny with moderate wind. <laughs> I ran two miles. Oh, there we are, July 20th, 96. This is my entry for uh, mileage, 26 and a half. I must have ran like a quarter mile warm up or something. <laughs> I got up at 4.50 a.m. and dad and I broke camp. <laughs> we drove 15 minutes to Pikes Point where it all started. Uh, it was awesome. I got number one because I was the only one in my age group. <laughs> I was 12. Uh, I stretched while an old man played the bagpipes. <laughs> it's crazy stuff, man. Uh, I lined up in about the fourth line of 65 people. Very small race. Uh, I ran easily at about 9.15 pace through 13 miles. Talked to a lot of neat people along the way. It was fun meeting runners. <laughs> uh, uh, I eventually sped up and passed a lot of people from 13 to 22 miles uh, and then came the wall at about 23 miles. Uh, yeah, hamstrings and calves, very painful. Worst pain I've ever felt. <laughs> it was very hard. Uh, I probably walked about 400 meters altogether, <laughs> so I must have walked a little bit. I broke my leg in 2011 and the way that that changed my perception of the sport of mountain running was I became open, much more open to technical terrain, hiking steep grades, uh, scrambling and that kind of thing because it was just a, a kind of a sheer logistical thing when I was coming back from having a broken leg. There's a lot less impact to be hiking up a steep grade than to be pounding miles on the flats, that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, I'd, I'd been interested in climbing when I moved to Colorado for university back in 2001. I immediately, within like a month or two, you know, started getting into the climbing community and, uh, but then just got distracted by running for years and years. So this was another opportunity to kind of reapply myself to that. And, uh, and then even more so over the last couple of years, I had a couple of different injuries. Uh, that have given me a lot more time to try and get better at climbing, basically, you know? <laughs> Scrambling and climbing without a rope is definitely, it's appealing to me because it's the most, it's, it taps into what I really enjoy about running and that it's like very simple, very uncluttered. There's not all the mess of the kit you need uh, for proper technical climbing and, um, yeah, so I, I mean, that's how I sort of reintegrate myself back into more vertical pursuits, I guess. In Boulder, it's really easy because there's the flat irons, which are these just iconic fifth class slabs. And there's thousands upon thousands of feet of them to choose from to really hone your um, comfort level with exposure and moderately technical terrain. Uh, so, yeah, over the years, that's something I've just got a lot more comfortable on. I like to think that my skills lend themselves well to mountaineering and yeah, I'm never going to be climbing 
I was going to say 9A, but I'm, I'm never going to be climbing 7A, you know? <laughs> well, maybe that's not true. Maybe I can climb 7A eventually, but, but uh, I, the, you know, those sort of like hyper difficult one pitch routes don't really get me that excited either. Maybe they would if I was actually good at it. But the stuff that really gets me excited is climbing mountains and big aesthetic lines. And a lot of that involves um, a lot of moderate terrain and endurance. Like, I mean, alpinism and mountaineering is, it's an endurance sport just like ultra marathoning is. And, uh, you know, there's lots of sleep deprivation the same way and going for hours and hours with very little food and water. And um, yeah, and if, you, and if you have the experience level and the comfort level on moving quickly over moderate ground, you can do some really fun stuff in the mountains. So for me, the kind of climbing that I've done, all the moments that really have stuck with me is like, I, probably the most recent was last summer uh, doing what has been dubbed the Long's Peak Triathlon, which is climbing the diamond on Long's Peak in, in Rocky Mountain National Park in the States. Uh, you know, it's a 510, I don't know, what is that, 6A climb. My partner and I did this biking approach and we went super light. You know, we had four cams with us for a 400, no, more than that, 700 foot route kind of thing. And, you know, there's a couple fixed p tones But like, you know, we just, we did it in a very clean style, very quickly. Um, and yeah, it was just a good day. Like everything came together well on that. And it's just one of the most aesthetic faces, I don't know, really in North America or in the States, uh, Alpine faces. Um, but yeah, climbing is, uh, it's a different kind of, I don't know, it's usually like managing anxiety and, and sort of, I think the release that you get when you top out on something difficult is much different than the kind of rewards you get from running something really well. Well, there's a sense of flow and that kind of thing in climbing too, but um, it's mostly it just feel like you've pulled something off and didn't get hurt, you know? <laughs> That's climbing is, can feel really good sometimes, you know? Like, oh, like we repelled the route and we didn't die. Like, you know, the rock didn't knock us off the mountain, that kind of thing, but yeah. Cheers, Anton. Part two of that interview coming soon, and do check out that film because it is brilliant. Link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.